Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this dripping effect using any type of font in Affinity Designer. For this tutorial, I'm using Affinity Designer 1.7.3. And before we start, we need to create a new document. For that, we're going to File, New. And I'm going to use my 1920 by 1080 at 300 dpi that I always use. You can use any dimensions that you want. The only thing always remember to untick the transparent background and leave all the rest as it is. And we click OK. And so we have our new document. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag this cast keys and I'm going to put it there and now is on, on the bottom right corner so you can see which keys I'm actually hitting on my keyboard when I'm doing different things. Okay, so before we start, always remember, uh, let me go back to this one, uh, go to view and make sure that you have selected show, show guides, show rulers, show context toolbar, and show toolbar. Perfect, with that out of the way, let's get started. Good, now, so I'm going to start uh, type, uh, clicking on my artistic tool and I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to put the word dripped and I'm going to select my selection tool and coming here, I'm going to use um, the type font is Allura, but I made a mistake in there because I'm going to use uh, low keys for the rest of the word. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, let me move it somewhere here in the center and let's put it right in the middle at the moment. Perfect. Now that we have that, to be able to treat or do anything with this one in a very easy way, we need to convert this one to curves. So we go to the top of our uh, contextual toolbar and we click on the um, button, button. We click on the button who says convert to curves and now it's all curves. Now we can do comma shift command J to ungroup. And now we have every single letter on its own. Perfect. So as you will see, this video, I think is going to be shorter than I expected because it's going to be quite easy. Um, some other people using like, for example, your uh, node tool and then creating a node and dragging and moving up and down and making things a little bit more complicated. Uh, but as you know, if you have been following my videos, I like to simplify the things as much as I can. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, the tier tool and I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to make something like this. We are going to modify this one, so don't worry. Um, I'm going to make it something like this and I'm going to leave all uh, in, the, in this shape. The only thing I'm going to change that one there uh, to black so we can see what we are doing. Sorry, no color and oops and let's give it a stroke of, of one so we can see what we are doing just only for that perfect now that we have that we need to convert this one to curves so we go to our contextual toolbar we click the button so now this is actually a curve now let's go and select our node tool and i'm going to put some one node there and one node there and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to click and select both, go to your contextual tool um, toolbar and click on transform node. So basically now you can um, use them or um, modify them uh, together. Uh, remember to hit and hold, as you can see there, command, click and drag to make it a little bit like that. Uh, we need to make these ones, I'm going to move them up. Uh, hold shift sorry hold shift something like that and we need to make them a little bit more rounded so what I'm going to do is sorry about that let me go there and move it something like this and this one I'm going to move it something like that as well 
is fine and this one if you hit uh, control click and drag so we can make it something like this I think a, a shape like that will be more or less fine uh, let me make it something like this it doesn't need to be perfect actually uh, try to create some kind of imperfection as well because if not everything sounds too um, too perfect I'm going to click control hold a second command and click and drag and I'm going to do something like that and then I'm going to click in the and in the I'm going to select those two and I'm going to make them like this and I'm going to move them up you'll see why this one later on and command shift come in here okay those two are on a different level so let's go to alignment and let's put them uh, exactly at the same and then this one I'm going to move it something like this and I'm going to make it like this and this one as well okay you will see why I'm doing this uh, in, in a moment okay perfect now that we have that it's more or less the shape that I'm looking for uh, we are going to start copying and doing modifications of this one so bear with me uh, I'm going somewhere okay okay let's make it um, a little bit smaller something like that is fine and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it somewhere here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to position just for the moment uh, somewhere there I'm going to hit alt click and drag to create a copy so let's make a few copies and let's position them in some places uh, we are going to actually quite a few modifications of these so don't worry if, uh, at the moment uh, I think it's some something there uh, we can put some another one there some another one there and let me see and I think it, for this tutorial is fine I'm going to move that one there so now uh, I'm going to make something a little bit different as well I'm going to click on the circle I'm going coming with a circle like this I'm going to change it to curve and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to with my selection tool sorry convert it to curve and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make something like this and then like this and this one let's move it there and I think it's something like that will be fine um, let's make it a little bit smaller and we can put for example one there and hit uh, alt and let me see we can put some one there I think it will be fine and maybe someone there in the in the dot of the eye perfect now that we have that let's start putting some variation and how we are going to put all this together so I'm going to start with this one there at the bottom so this one what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch it a little bit and I'm going to actually make it something like this and then with my curve tool these ones um, I'm going to select sorry those two uh, no B and I'm going to move it somewhere there and then what I'm going to do is this one let me zoom in and I'm going to make sure that you are actually um, snapping to the border and then I'm going to move this one until it's parallel okay and I'm going to do the same with this one snap it there and then I'm going to move this one until it snap to the curve so now what happens is when you do it like that you have this very well defined curve there and these two what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it for smooth so you see there is it's a it's very smooth smooth curve coming from each side so then is I can take this one for example and I can move it up a little bit if I want something like that and I think it there is fine and can make this one a little bit something like this and this one let's make it more or less something like that perfect now if you zoom out you will see what I'm doing and how everything is coming together so now 
always try to put some variation, not make it exactly, exactly the same. So for example, this one, we can move this one, let me hit V there and move it there. And this one somewhere there. And maybe we can make a copy and put one there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed it up the process um, because if not, it's going to get too tedious, but usually we're doing always the same thing. The most important part is to first of all, give some variation. So make it all a little bit smaller or longer, uh, things like that. And always remember that these nodes needs to get there on the on the border and then let's click i should have done that one before but anyway i'm going to click on that one and then move it until let me zoom in so we can see what we are doing and click that one and i actually snap it into the curve there and this one i'm going to do exactly the same thing Perfect. So as you can see, this one is just only for you to have something to grasp there. Okay. So let's go. Let's keep on doing the rest. Oh, before we go into high speed drive, this one, I'm going to make it uh, a little bit smaller, something like that. So basically this one is like a drop that is not, is almost starting. Uh, if you want to put it like that, I'm going to make it something like this. Uh, let's go to that node tool and I'm going to do the same thing and then I'm going to snap there and this one I'm going to snap there as well as you can see it turns yellow and hit control and maybe make it something like this perfect okay so let's go to hyperdrive and I see you when I finish doing all the rest Okay, and just uh, to finish, let's do this one, the last one. Uh, you can put as much as you want, it's going to be fine. Um, the only consideration is uh, you can do it in any kind of font. Uh, I choose this one because it's, it's quite... Uh, it, it has... Uh, 
enough room to to do things like this uh, all the kind of script kind of fonts will be always better but you actually can do it in any kind of font that you want so i think it's uh, up to you now to uh, experiment in which ones uh, will go better than than other ones so let me select that one there and move it out of the way there we go and so yeah basically as you can see it's not that difficult and it gives a quite nice effect actually okay so now let's take uh, hold a second let's grab all these and let's move it something like this so now it's just a question of manipulating uh, all these things all the different nodes something like that and this one i think is fine maybe we can make it a little bit smaller something like this and then move it up uh, i think it up there let's move it down and then let's take all these ones and move them up uh, maybe what i can do is i can delete those two and maybe take these two and move them in zoom in and move them something like that and then make all these somewhere there mm -hmm. let's come on uh, something there will be fine perfect so there you have it um, let me do what I always do I'm going to click and drag to select everything let's group it I'm going to change the field let's put something more dramatic something like blood or something like that I'm just joking um, so uh, let me put the background as well and this one I'm going to make it black and move it to the back and then we can select our and make it a little bit bigger so perfect okay I think that's it for this video I hope you like it as you can see it's quite simple how to do it uh, you can create everything back and you know put it all together with uh, one geometry but I uh, usually I leave it like this and anyway uh, as I said I hope that you liked the video if you did please remember to subscribe to leave the comment um, in the section down below give the thumbs up really help me a lot and really appreciate all your support guys uh, all the people that watch my videos really really uh, thank you very much to everybody for your support and as I said before any comment or suggestion please leave them in the section down below uh, I think uh, that's it thank you very much for watching and like always I'm seeing you in the next video